What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link, discount code, and a really good sale on the 19th and 20th of December if you're listening to this today. And you know, to be honest with you guys, you haven't heard my voice for a couple days. I haven't needed to actually take away from the beauty of Madden for a while. I've learned that I can just take the clips that you guys send me on a daily basis. Not, not good gameplay. I don't get those. I get the real gameplay. Upload those, and you guys will come to my channel and just watch 45 seconds of the most awful football game known to man. But while this has been happening, you know, Project Red has been dealing with Cyberpunk 2077 to the point where there's so many parallels, right? You've got a company that's developed a game for a very long time. You've got a company that released a game that we all can admit was not ready. Now, to me, I don't see a lot of differences between what EA has done versus what Cyberpunk 2077 has ran into. Because the reality is, in both situations, you have a company that oversold and massively underdelivered. You have a game that you can make a case is filled with glitches, filled with bugs, takes an incredible amount of patching. I mean, you have just this week, just what I've shown you, a kickoff glitch where they've actually had to remove kickoffs from the game because they can't contain the superstar ability to taunt. You've got an extra point glitch where if you actually go and not kick an extra point after a touchdown, you can time someone else out. You've got, for the ultimate team guys, they're not left in the cold on this, a mislabeled bundle that told them they were getting cards that they weren't. Where do we draw the line between bad games and really bad games? Where do we make the distinguish between a bad game that needs to have a refund and be pulled from the store versus a bad game that stays? Right? I don't know the difference. I mean, there are some differences. Like, EA is a AAA company. EA has the NFL exclusive agreement. EA relies on this license to sell it and market its games. Right? There's some... Things that favor EA in this equation. So I thought to myself, you know, if gamers have this power that I was unaware of before, right? I mean, we've seen what our power as a community does. 0.02 user score, 0.08 on next gen. So it's gotten better, right, Clint? 0.8 is better than 0.2. We can all agree. Clearly, your game made significant strides going forward, right? However, why can't we have a national Madden refund day? A day where everyone goes and says that they want a refund for this game. And I figured, what day would be best for this? What day would be most fitting? What day can we all plan? Thank you, Rachel. Middle of a video. What day can we all plan to sit here and say to ourselves, it is time to come out collectively and say to ourselves, here is how we feel about your product, and now is the time where we're going to ask for our money back. Because I feel like if we can all collectively speak our opinion about this game, that there would be no choice but for EA or someone outside of EA to take notice. We've done a relatively good job enough as it is, right? We have tarnished this game's legacy to the point that anyone that goes and looks at the user score has to know it's a poor product. But what we haven't been able to do is express to the actual consoles that this is not a product worthy of even being on their marketplace. And to be fair, we didn't even know that this was something that could be done. I didn't know that you could actually talk about a game so negatively that they would just pull it from the store. That they would offer you a refund at the console level. I've joked that it's happened before, but what I figure we'll do is we're going to have a national Madden refund day, a day where everyone hopefully doesn't open this atrocious football game on Friday, December 25th. But if they do and they experience some issues, we're going to have on Twitter a refund Madden day where we're all going to talk about wanting our money back from EA Sports and having this game pulled from the marketplace. And it probably won't happen, but you know what? I think I'll feel a little bit better knowing that everyone out there 
we'll see once again that Madden is most known in social media for trending for all the wrong reasons. Madden is most known to have hashtags associated to horrible football play and frustrated customers than it is anything positive. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. And you know I will be back in the week with more commentary.